I first heard about him, first of all, he came in when I was on vacation, so I was out of the burn center. Um, but as soon as I got in that first day, I was told that there was a little boy that was in a, in a significant ac accident and he had significant injuries. Um, and so I looked into it and when I received the order to start work with them, I started work with them and I figured, well, this is going to be a challenge. It's definitely going to be a challenge. Now, the, his injuries are that um, the car obviously hit him, a moving vehicle, and he sustained what is called a C5, C6 sublux. Basically, it means that he broke his neck. He broke his neck and he also uh, tore or lacerated the, one of the major arteries from his heart to his head, to his brain. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, when someone has that significant injury, your first impression is this person is going to be paralyzed, and since it's so high up, that basically he's going to lose function of his legs and a good part of his arms. When I first saw him, he had no motor function of his legs. In other words, he could not move his legs at all. He could not feel in his legs at all, and he had no abnormal tone that we normally would tend to see. That was all absent. His arms, he was only was able to kind of go ahead and shrug his shoulders, lift his arms up, and he had very minimal movement of his biceps area, so he basically was able to bend his elbows. As time progressed, over a few course of a few days, I started noticing that he started getting a little bit more return in his, in his left arm. And then sure enough, he started getting some more return in his right arm. And so at that time, I was letting the doctor, the neurosurgeon, let her know that, you know, he's starting to get some function back in his arms. And then over a course of, of a few weeks, then I started noticing that one of his legs started moving. You know, he started getting a little bit of tone um, starting to come back in his legs. But then he started getting some motor function in his leg. And he was actually moving it on his own. And that was surprising. I was like, wow, he's getting, you know, he's getting function in his legs. Once the, the doctor um, was noticing that he was getting more function in regards to his arms and his legs, she said, get him up, get him up on his feet. Pepe. Pepe. Mami. Pepe. Cheese! Y queso! Y queso! It's very rewarding to go ahead and see someone like this particular patient, Alan. You know, to go through what he did. Um, to see him laying in bed and not be able to do anything to the point now where he's using his arms. He's able to play with toys. He's able to assist and try to feed himself. You know, he's able to sit in a bed that we normally take for granted. You know, he's able to stand. That maybe one day he might be able to walk again. You know, it's a team effort. But definitely it's very rewarding. There's nothing more gratifying to see someone go from where he was at day one to where he is now. It's, it's, just, it's just unspoken words. It's, it's very humbling. Um, it makes us realize how much we take things for granted because one day that could be us. That could be us sitting in that bed. Um, so yes, it's very rewarding. And it touched me personally. You know, I have kids. You know, how would I respond if that was my child? Yeah. It's very humbling.